In the world of science fiction, there are many ideas about what a star killer machine might be like. Strangely enough, it's as run of the mill as something as iron. To a star, iron is the most dangerous element in the universe. It's poison. Iron absorbs energy. From the moment a massive star creates iron, it has only seconds to live. The star is trying to dump energy into that iron ball and trying to make it fuse, but it can't. And so that ball is robbing the star of energy. And it's that energy that is supporting the star itself. So as soon as that iron starts to be created in the core, the star has written its own death sentence. The battle between gravity, trying to crush the star, and fusion, trying to blow it apart, is over. With iron, fusion hits a dead end. Gravity always wins. The iron core collapses. The outer layers of the star slam down into it, and a huge explosion is generated. is the single most violent event in the universe, a supernova. In just a few seconds, supernovas create more energy than our sun ever will. Within a couple seconds after beginning to make iron, a star explodes in a supernova. So think about that when you're holding one of your iron frying pans. The iron killed a star in just a few seconds. Dangerous stuff. Telescopes around the world scan the skies for supernovas. In 1987, a brilliant light appeared in a nearby galaxy, 170,000 light years away. These pictures record the events following the death of a massive star as a fireball trillions of miles wide hurtles out into space. But there's no record of the actual moment of death when the star first ripped itself apart. 